Okay, so today we're going to be unboxing the Wandlan Ares camera stabilizer. Now, for those of you who don't know about this, uh, this particular uh, gadget is one of many different uh, low-priced camera stabilizers that are appearing on the market lately, uh, mostly coming from India and China. Um, so its direct competitors, I guess, would be the uh, Flycam 3000, Flycam 5000, and the uh, Steady Tracker. And, um, and of course the Steadicam Merlin, which has received top marks pretty much all around the board. Uh, the reason I chose this particular stabilizer was uh, mainly that it seems to have a uh, smaller setup time than the Flycam or the Steady Tracker. Uh, the Flycam uses a gimbal, and I believe the Wandlin also uses a gimbal as well. Uh, so you're going to get a similar degree of stabilization, but with the Wandland you have uh, an arrangement that's more similar to a Steadicam Merlin, which is another reason uh, why I chose it. So let's go ahead and have a look. Uh, full disclaimer here, there's no tape on the top because I took my address off the top, but this box seems pretty well packed, so let's have a look. This is my first unboxing video, so please bear with me. First of all, we've got a user's guide here that looks like it's written entirely in Mandarin, which uh, I guess is not too big of a deal. They do have an instructional video online for how to balance and set this up, uh, but it is for their uh, smaller version of this. There's two stabilizers that are pretty much the same. They have the Ares, which is what this one is. It's a bit larger, and the smaller one, which is called the Pegasus, and they're both pretty much identical and they're from the same company. So let's go ahead and uh, open this thing up and have a look here. <clears throat> this ran me about $300 after shipping from Hong Kong on eBay. It got here very fast. I paid for express shipping, so it got here in about three days. <clears throat> okay, so we've got bubble wrap here. So uh, let's go ahead and put this box aside. All right, so I guess the first thing I'm noticing is that they've got <coughs> a, it comes with a cloth carrying bag, which is uh, definite points in its favor. I thought there was going to be a retail box, but uh, I guess uh, this is how they roll. So let's take a look here. Uh, this looks almost like I'd expect to find a, a flute or a recorder inside of it. So, uh, oh, I see. This is a uh, kit with the weights and the screwdriver inside of it. So, I'm not sure how this is supposed to come apart. Let's put this here for now and see what else we've got. Okay. And here's the unit itself. Still buried under miles of plastic. Looks like it's made out of uh, machined aluminum. That's another point in its favor. So it's uh, fairly large. Now I know one of the thing first things you might be noticing is the color. Uh, that it's really shiny and, and kind of uh, kind of crazy. Uh, this is on purpose. I just wanted to, you know, get something different. It does come in black and blue <coughs> um, instead of. Uh, gold and red, but I decided I wanted the, this color because I'm weird like that. So this is the main unit here. As you can see, it's got a uh, it's got a, uh, a platform that the camera sits on and basically you can adjust it back and forth. Unlike the fly cam, which has to be placed differently each time you want to adjust your balance, you can actually trim with these knobs here which is very, very helpful. So let's go ahead and set that here. Folds up, looks like here, for easy storage. Yeah, so it just unlocks and pulls out like this. And you can adjust the cantilever here. So this is definitely a really solid, heavy-feeling piece of kit. There's not really a, 
a cheap feel to it. Now, no one has been able to tell me what this little chain is for here, uh, sticking out the bottom. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and ask the seller uh, what it is. Oh, sorry about that. Uh, it does not, as you can see here, it doesn't really use a gimbal, but it uses a kind of high quality ball joint here. So it's kind of halfway between, you know, a real gimbal and a uh, just a regular ball joint. So this kind of places it as far as stabilization, I guess, would be um, somewhere beneath the uh, beneath the fly cam series and above the U fly cam, which is the the cheaper ones. Now, one thing you might also want to notice here is that the handle has a shock absorber in it. So basically, it's going to also absorb your uh, vibrations too. So that's another feature that I haven't really seen in any other stabilizers. So let's see what else we have. I think that's it for the most part. Uh, the plate here has a quick release from what it looks like, and also a two-axis level, if you can see that there. So the quick release just slides right out, really easy. Now keep in mind there was a warning on the site that do not ever try and pull this thing out um, while the uh, while this pin is engaged because you'll strip the gear. So always make sure you pull the pin out when you're putting the uh, uh, platform back on. So let's take a look at the weights here. This is a very strange way to package them. This is very heavy. So the shipping was a little bit on the high side, but that's only because they're shipping, you know, three or four pounds of weight. Now the big difference between the Pegasus and the Ares, so this is the Ares, uh, is that the Pegasus can hold uh, about four pounds of weight and this one can hold about seven. So I'd opted to go with the uh, larger one. So these are 250 gram weights, which are a little over half a pound. And they're really cool because they actually link together. Just hook them up like Voltron. And they attach to the end of the cantilever right here. So <clears throat> another reason I think this is going to be a little bit better than using a fly cam is because uh, the fly cam puts all of your weight in front of your hand and you have to hold your arm out. Well, this one keeps the weight centered above your wrist, so I think it'll be a little bit easier to use. So it looks like it comes with a full set of weights here. It's I guess about, oh, maybe two or three pounds, which should be offset enough to offset pretty much anything you're going to put on here. The gentleman who sold this to me on eBay did indicate to me that these weights uh, were a one to three ratio. So if you've got two pounds of gear on the uh, Aries, you're going to want to go with about, let's say, 600 grams because there's some weight on here uh, as well. So that's pretty much it. The uh, the unit itself is going to take some setting up, which I will uh, hopefully do, and then do some test videos with the uh, 5D Mark II here. So um, I uh, hope to see you again soon. That is pretty much it.